I think there are, yes, definitely books written for boys and for girls. This is a feature of the 20th century because in the 20th century, childhood became a separate, protected uh, place. That is, in developed countries. Because it is a separate space, we have different rules for bringing up boys and girls, and the books follow the culture. Now, this is a very good example of the way in which a children's book influences the culture and is influenced by the culture. Because you will know if you are teachers that girls read more than boys. They are given different kinds of books. Two years ago in England, there was a big government project to find out what boys read and what girls read. And to nobody's surprise, the government recommended that boys should be given books about war and sport and violence and fighting. For the interesting reason that that is what boys like to read. But boys can only read what they are given to read. So you have a circle. Self-fulfilling prophecy. I think it's certainly true boys are different from girls, yes, obviously. Psycho psychologically. So yes, girls do seem to move towards books about family relationships. So what has happened in England is that the teaching of English is done by fashion. 30 years ago, our, our, all our schools had li libraries. They had a system of school librarians. And every city had a central school library with specialist librarians. And so the teachers could go from the school to the central library, learn about the best books, and come back to the school. But the important thing was that the reading of stories, literature, was a common thing in every class, every school. There was time to do it. And the, te and the teaching of literacy has been placed into a one hour every day. I could cry. I could cry. It is, it is terrible. And you can imagine the results. The actual literacy has actually fallen in England. There has been a, what we call a knock-on effect, an effect which... Uh, yeah, domino effect, which means that publishers have um, not been able to sell so many books, and that, in my experience, reading has become something more mechanical, something you do in school, and therefore literacy has gone down. Now, there is starting to be a swing back the other way, is beginning. But it's going to take a long time because so much damage has been done to the structure. So can I beg you in Brazil, do not make the same mistake. The, the tragedy is that in school, they have uh, only books which are very simple to learn to read from. And that publishers are now publishing books in general, which are also simpler in language. See, I think this is part of the effect of the internet and the computer. I talk about it in the book, but it is clear, I think, that the new generation of children, even my children, who are 20, they have a different way of reading. I mean by that they have a different way of understanding stories. Because if you are over 25 or 30, you will be used to stories which are linear. These days, children pick up their narratives from the internet in small pieces, and then they uh, uh, fit them together. And often, the language of each small piece is quite simple. And so, children do not have the skill, the same skill, of subtle skill of language. And I taught in the university for 40 years, and I watched the standard of new students sliding down because they, they, they were not used to writing coherent arguments. And so children think in a different way, and we have to accept it and learn to understand it.